Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast, Wednesday edition live. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You all know who it is. You all know what time it is. It's me, Bruce, the host of the Format. Got my main man, the Transformer. What's good, Transformer? What's good, my boy? Chilling, chilling. And of course, I got my main man, G. G, what's good, man? You. What it is? <laughs> what is what going it is. is? Man, I hear like the Terminator with the shades on, man. Get to the chopper. One of them days, man. One of them Get days. to the chopper. All right, all right. So um, we got a, We got a pretty good show for you here today. Um, definitely going to talk NFL, of course. Middle of the season, or getting to the middle of the season. We're going to do our pick them. We're going to talk the biggest story in the NFL right now is Devonte Adams, and uh, give some thoughts on that. And of course, we are. Um, we're also going to talk as uh, the NBA is right around the corner. We're going to talk some Lakers, and of course, who else? LeBron and Bronny, right? Because well, you just have to. You talk in the NBA, you know what that is, right? But um, before we get to that, you know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like, that five star review, and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. And finally, make sure you write it down, put it in your phone, set an alarm. Do whatever you got to do to remember Saturday nights at 7 p.m. We are live here on the Format Podcast, and we'll give you the opportunity to call in, talk to us, get at me. I love it. I can't wait. Yes, yes, we're going yes. to our week five pick them. Ultimately, we're trying to get Bruce to have better picks this week, as he did get seven out of 16 correct. Okay, so uh, it, it wasn't, week, it it wasn't that bad. How many you got last week, man? 11 out of 16, if you want to keep talking. But all you know, right, all right, all yeah, right. it's just just a little, just a little eleven, you know, quick a little eleven. You know, out of all right, all right, that's pretty good numbers. But that's pretty good numbers. Pretty pretty solid numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off. I'm gonna let G pick, be the first one to pick the Thursday night game. We have Tampa and mm. Baker, the touchdown maker, Mayfield, Baker, Baker, and Baker, Maker traveling to Atlanta. Yeah, what you think about that, G? Who you got? Uh Baker Mayfield and Kirk Cousins, correct? Yes, Kirk Cousins. Yep, in Atlanta. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Buccaneers. I think they on a roll right now. Um, although the, with the Falcons being two to two, two and two, um, some adversity there makes it you know the urge of winning is more important. But I, I'm still gonna stand with uh, Baker. He's known to get hot, um, and so I, I like the Bucks. Okay, Bruce. I uh, like the Bucks as well. I think they're uh, more solidified at the quarterback position, but. It's interesting, some notes, um, looking here at the injury report, and I'm seeing uh, rookie Jalen McMillan, uh, not sure what's going to be the deal with him, whether he's going to play or not. He's got a, looks like he's got a hamstring injury, so we'll find out. Um, and two, uh, wide receiver Trey Palmer, he's got a concussion, so he likely won't play at all. And uh, one of their best uh, defensive backs, safety Antoine Winfield Jr., he's out with a foot injury, so... I don't think he's. I don't think it's solidified yet. He's trying to come back and practice. He still has a couple Winfield of Jr. Up. Yeah. Well, yeah. the report I'm looking at right now says out, so that may change between I guess now and what tomorrow night. That could change, yeah. but as of right now, he's uh, he's not supposed to play. But um, I don't see particularly any key injuries on either side, and um, I, I like the way the Buccaneers are playing right now. So I'm, I'm gonna go with Tampa Bay. All hey, right. if you're in the chat, if you're in the chat, um. Also, you know, drop drop your picks as well. Mm -hmm. We'll try to hold you accountable to them as well. Yeah. Gino. What's going on, SG3? What's up, bro? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I've been hot on Atlanta all year. I'm going to keep the flame mm -hmm. going. Um, I'm going to ride with Atlanta on this one. Like I said, I've been really bullish about them coming up in that division, um, and I just want to actually be different. You know, we all can't pick Tampa on Thursday night, so I'm going to go ahead and be the odd maker, and I'm going to go ahead and ride with Atlanta on this one, man. Um, you know, they, they've been playing some very close games. They've yet to get blown out, but I do think Atlanta yeah. um, is really starting to pick up steam in their offensive game, um, and also on the defensive side of the ball. They're actually making some key stops at the end of these mm -hmm. ball games to make these things a little bit more competitive, and I think that if Atlanta gets it to – a close game. It's a shooter at the end. You know, Kirk Cousins has 
you know, in a regular season, at least, um, showing that he can go down and get that game winning drive. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Atlanta on this one. Okay. All right. We're going to go to the first of them on Sunday. We have a early morning game. I believe this is going to be overseas. New York Jets yeah. and Aaron Rodgers um, at 930 a.m., you know, a time that none of us is going to be awake to watch this game. But they're going to be playing uh, with considered in Minnesota at home game mm-hmm. at uh, at nine thirty. So, Bruce, who you got in that game? I'm I'm going with the Vikings, man. As much as I don't believe in Sam Donald, he's playing extremely well so far yeah. this season. Brian Flores has that defense flying around, uh, really playing extremely well. One of the best defenses in the league right now, and um, it's just hard, man. Right now, it doesn't seem like the Jets can really get anything going. Uh, yeah. offensively, they're having a lot of problems. And um, I think Brian Flores is going to give Aaron Rodgers fits, especially as we see, you know, Aaron Rodgers, he still has arm talent to make these throws, but True. his mobility is severely compromised as as we see watching him. It's not it's not the same Aaron Rodgers. So um, definitely going with the Vikings here. All right, G. Yeah, I, I like the Vikings as well. I mean, that last um, topic that we got down there, um, I think there's a move to probably possibly move that guy so he can play with um, Aaron Rodgers. But, however, right now that's going to take some weeks for them to kind of gel. Mm-hmm. And um, and so I, I definitely like the Vikings as well. All right. I agree with you guys. Uh, Vikings, like I said, they're hot right now. I mean, the offense is just rolling. Um, yes, it is. Addison is back, so that's another weapon mm-hmm. um, back in that secondary for Sam Darnold. I mean, not secondary, in that wide receiver core for Sam mm-hmm. Darnold. Right now, Sam Darnold hasn't turned into a pumpkin yet. So until Not I see him turn into a pumpkin, then you know I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick the Vikings. Um, mm-hmm. They beat my they beat my Packers last year. They spanked them at first, but you know we made it a close competitive game uh, towards mm-hmm. the end of it. And like you said, Bruce, the Jets are just they're, they're trying to figure it out. It's a coaching yeah. issue. It's an offensive line issue. Mm-hmm. And Rodgers again, you know, doing what he does to the media by kind of being giving shady commentary <laughs> on what he feels is going on with the team. Um, they right. can't. They can't sustain drives right now. And I think if Minnesota goes up big, you know, the, the Jets are in trouble. No, the Jets are in trouble. So, and it's an early morning game. So I think, you know, the younger Bucks are going to get up and uh, play, be able to play a better football game um, than yeah. Aaron Rodgers trying to wake up that early, man. Yeah, we definitely going um, offense over defense here. Um, those guys, the best, they, <laughs> they definitely, hey, listen, man, they definitely will take away what you do best, but. You know that that office uh, is not clicking on every cylinder right now. On it, on every cylinder right now, I should say. So yeah, True. definitely, definitely the Vikings. True. Uh, must win for the Jets. Edward Jackson must win for the Jets. What would that put him at? Two and three. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's pretty close to a must it's win. Pretty close to it, yeah. It's as close uh, as you can be without officially being one. Yeah, yeah, true. I gotta be able to look at the rest of the schedule to see what they what the what they following up with that. Yeah, it's but not easy. I don't think they have an easy schedule this year, but. All right. All right. So we're going to move on to the one o'clock. Carolina and the Red Rifle travels to Chicago <laughs> against the Bears. Mm-hmm. Who we got, G? Oof. That's a rough one, but uh, it is. Right? I got, <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm that's still stuck one. on that one. Like, I'm still stuck. Best of the worst, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, oof. That's tough. Uh, I'm just going to go with the Bears because they're popular. All right. uh, for no other okay. reason other than that, man. Um, Panthers, they they in a rebuild phase right now. And um, who's that quarterback? Is it Andy Dalton? Andy Dalton. Yeah, the Red Rifle. Yeah, yeah Andy mm-hmm. Dalton. So I don't know, man. That's that's kind of tough. Um, but yeah, I, I I like the Bears. I like the Bears. All right, Bruce. I'm gonna go with the Panthers here. Um, not because I have a tremendous amount of faith, but because they have been playing better since the switch away from uh, Bryce Young. Um, they're playing decent. Uh, I'm seeing for the Bears, uh, Cole Komet's got some knee injuries, uh, knee issues, so he may or may not play. Um, uh, he's been limited in practice. Uh, Montez Sweat, ankle injury, limited in practice. That's that's your best pass rusher there. And we know that the Bears defense has really uh, been playing very well um, uh, probably since – what about halfway through last season, right? They they yeah. started really playing well, picking it up. But I just I don't I, I don't quite see it yet. Um, I think also that uh, what's my man uh, Caleb Williams is still trying mm-hmm. to figure some things out, and Andy Dalton, as we mentioned, he's been in the league what 10, 12 years now. He's a, he's an experienced veteran. He's seen it all. So I think you have the better opportunity for uh, the Panthers to win, and I think they will sneak away with one here. 
All right. She said Carolina, right? Yes. All right. Got you with Carolina. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm go with the Bears. The Bears. I'm gonna go with the Bears on this one. Um, <laughs> right. I, I, I think Caleb. He, like you said, he's trying to figure it out. Uh, I think this last game was one of his better games. 17 for 23, 157 yards. But again, he's not turning over the ball. Um, they they're starting to establish the one game. Uh, Devontae Swift. You know, he 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 got after it. You know, they they definitely mm-hmm. saw running the football is going to be key and win these ball games and also getting them out of the backfield. You know, putting them in that slot. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, causing a little bit more disruption for the defensive secondary. So I just think that they have enough to beat Carolina. Um, if it gets into a shootout, then I think Carolina has the the veteran um, presence of Andy Dalton to get the game won. But I think the Bears mm-hmm. defense still has enough on, a, on the table to stop Carolina. So I'm, I'm going to go with the Bears on this one. All right. We're going to move on over to uh, – oh, man, I kind of want to skip this one. But Baltimore – an AFC North battle against Cincinnati Bengals. G, I think I let you go last time. Bruce, who you got? Um, I'm definitely going with the Ravens here. I don't think historically uh, Joe Burrow plays particularly well against the Ravens. Uh, the Ravens uh, secondary, which was one of the most maligned in the league going into last week, uh, stepped up its game. I think they took a lot of things personally in terms of their rating and the way people were talking about them. We know they can shut down the run. They have one of the top um, run defenses in, in the in the league. I was about to say in the country. My mind's on college. But they have one of the top uh, run defenses in the NFL. Uh, the the pass defense kind of looked like it's, its old self last week. And um, it looks like, and I want to keep my fingers crossed here, but it looks like Todd Munkin has finally figured this thing out and he is going to utilize that vicious thunder and lightning combination in the backfield of Lamar yeah. Jackson and uh, Derrick Henry. And as long as you continue to run the football, uh, everything else is going to come off of that offensively. And I don't know that there's a team in the league that can stop that when it's clicking. So um, I, I do think that you're going to see uh, uh, the Bengals play with desperation and they're going to play with hunger, but I just don't think that they will be able to finish the job. So I'm going to go with I'm, I'm going to go with the Ravens here. All right, G. I'll, just to let you know, G. I already clicked the Baltimore box, but explain why you're picking Baltimore. All right, first and foremost, right? Like, um, <laughs> like, like. I mean, I don't want to highlight what Bruce said. I'm happy he's you know uh, on board this week. I'll say that, but you know, with the with the second I'll try to be objective. We, started, we saw Nate Wiggins um pretty much shut down that uh that right side or that left side, I should say, depending on. Yeah, that right side. Yeah, I seen him shut it down, and um, I look forward to the the Nate Wiggins and Jamal Chase uh, matchup. But my guys are starting to play physical, right? Mm-hmm. That physicality is back, man. And it's like mm-hmm. you know, a lot of the old guys, like um, I watched a, a little clip with um, uh, Marlon Humphreys, and he you know he talked about communication on defense. He said, uh, Ed Reed dropped a, a little note on the whiteboard. It was like you know, commun- communicate, and he put his double in number twenty there. And so mm-hmm. you, you start to see these guys starting to communicate a little better. They starting to gel and get comfortable with their positions. Um, I yeah. think the defense is always going to show up. Uh, I looked at last game. I saw that uh, you know Todd Munkin. There's some QA going on in the, in the backfield and and you know in the front office where you know if he do call a play that's kind of outrageous, he need to be able to explain why he decided to run that play. You know on mm-hmm. third and long, right? <clears throat> and so uh, the QA on a, on from the the offensive coordinators. Um, position is, is is very key, right? Like uh, Dark Henry running really, really well. I like to see him kind of like not get so many reps. He only had 24 last week, but mm-hmm. I still want to see, you know, that dominance, right? Um, Justin Hill was able to run really well. I mm-hmm. want us to get our uh, receivers um, kind of involved. And so it, like like Bruce said, it really depends on what game plan that uh, Todd Munkin run. run. Um, but I would like to see Lamar audible if he put him in a situation where, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous play. And uh, I think that's one of those things that kind of like it kill it kills us in the, in the long run. Right. We don't keep the, the foot on the gas or the, you know, the, the, the foot on the neck, so to speak, yeah. uh, when it comes to uh, closing teams out in the fourth quarter. And so I, I, I like the Ravens big. Um, big. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, big. But how much? What's big? Ten points? Fifteen? Well, well, I mean, 17? so uh, this is a, a, a in a conference game, right? And so yeah. you know these teams are built for each other, and so you know I like to see Smash Mouth, right? Like if we can we can do Smash Mouth three 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 games in a, in a row, that'd be really good. But uh, 
you know, all in all, man, like this is a division game. I mean, this is a conference game. So this yeah. is a must win for the Ravens. And so I think you put True. your best product out, you know, when it comes to these these uh, next conference, these next eight conference games. I think no. it's also we got to keep in mind that it's also uh, a must win for the Bengals as Bengals. well. Yep. And I think that's that's why I have Baltimore winning, but not winning going away like we would like to see. I think the Bengals mm -hmm. going to fight, but they're going to just come up short. Yeah. Uh, no. Transforming you. No, I, I agree, man. Uh, I, ultimately, I got the Ravens. Uh, like I said, I was very bullish on them uh, making mm -hmm. it to another AFC championship game this year to battle Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we perhaps may get a different story that you got Derrick Henry in the backfield. But I look yes. at this key right here, man. Last four games, Baltimore scored 20 points, 23, 28, 35. So they're, they can score, right? They can score. And I think if you're putting it a game and against a shootout against a struggling Cincinnati Bengal team with the emergence of Todd Munklin finally calling – a, a, a great offense with the run game being run heavy. Mm -hmm. Derrick Henry, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hills, uh, I think, but Justin Hill, Justice Hill, Justice Hill. You're really putting that putting that game away with that type mm -hmm. of ball play, and I think that yes. you know right now the Bengals are just a little bit too dysfunctional to be able to withstand that. So I think the Ravens could definitely pull away. Um, I got them winning by at least a touchdown um, because I think they can just put it away early and keep them away by you know consistently running the football. So I got mm -hmm. the I got the I got the uh, Ravens on this one. Okay. I got, I got one last thing to add. Um, so we, we look at adversity, right? Like a lot of times teams get out, they get out the gate and they, they real hot, right? They go undefeated, yeah. right? There's some, there's still two teams out there that's undefeated, correct? Like it's the Chiefs and uh, the Vikings, right? Yep. Yeah. But what you see is, is once a team <clears throat> takes a loss, they kind of self-destruct, right? Well, we got those out the way early and this is still a, 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 a must win game for uh, the Ravens because you're two or two, you have 500, right? And um, the race to, you know, number one in the AFC at North is, it's a big deal. And yeah. so, um, yeah, I, I, I like them 14 plus. 14 plus. Ooh, big time right there. I big can't time. see that, but let me, let me just add one thing as well. And then I promise we'll move on. We don't have to worry about our cornerbacks at all because uh, Kyle Hamilton is always back there to back them up. Just saying. Go Irish. Go. You already know. <laughs> you I knew where you were know. going as soon as I heard Cal Hamilton. I'm like, go hey, first here we go. Hey, from first team all NFL. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, he he balling out there, man. He he truly mm -hmm. is playing playing some good defense out there. All right, moving on over the problem in Miami and what we call not sure what we're doing with our quarterback Ville. They're traveling to New England to battle another team that doesn't know what's going on in quarterback Ville and uh, Jacoby yeah. Brissett. Who we got, uh, G? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Dolphins on this one. Okay. Um, I think they get, they have too many weapons to be uh, to take another L. Uh, I, I think we saw uh, uh, quarterback position not really gelling, not really getting it together. It's his first first go at uh, with that offense and 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 those weapons. He overthrew a lot of really fast guys last week. That would have you know it would have been at least 14 to 21 points if he was able to hit his targets. I don't believe he's going. He's not going to hit his targets this this week. Um, I think uh, I, I like uh, the Dolphins. I like the Dolphins in this one. Okay, Bruce. Man, this is a complete and total toss up. Very of two freaking turds of a football team. These, these guys are <laughs> terrible. Just, <laughs> just bad, man. I mean, it, it, to, to to quote my man Brandon, I don't give two squirts of monkey piss who wins this game. This is just bad. I, I mean. The Dolphins are terrible without Tua, and don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't think Tua is some superstar, but he fits what they do. He fits their personnel. True. The Patriots, <laughs> you know, they have no skill, talent. They're bad, but I am gonna go with the Patriots here because the Dolphins' offense looks absolutely listless right now, and at least the Patriots can defend. So I think that um, with the offense playing as poorly as it is in Miami. Uh, the New England defense, they're gonna be able to scheme up something and they're gonna they're gonna win that game close. I mean, it's gonna be bad, but they're gonna win. So I'm going with New England here. All right. Um oh man, Bruce. And the Dolphins got a lot of injuries. I couldn't tell you how how much uh, I agree with what you're saying. It's definitely a toss up. Uh right now, we just I just don't see enough. Uh Tyler Huntley hasn't been there long enough to jail. Um, like I said, I get G's point, and you know, he missed Tyreek Hill a few times, but 
you got to be able to make them throws. And if you can't make them throws as of yet, I have yet to see it. I truly have no reason to pick you. Um, New England does have a good defense to where they're able to, you know, disrupt Tyler Huntley a little bit more um, to get him off of that spot to be able to make those type of throws. I mean, granted, their offense isn't much to scoff at, but you still got Stevenson in the backfield who can run the football. And you got Jacoby Brissett, who's not really a, a starting quarterback, but he can get it done type of quarterback. Um, he's been in that scheme multiple times. Um, he's familiar with that with that uh, team. They're in New England, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go with New England here. Um, I think they can definitely uh, disrupt Huntley enough to uh, just make it a, another awful game. We may get a you know big play, big splash um, from Tyreek Hill as he's warranted. I think he's only scored – I mean, only gotten like 50 yards in the past two or three games since Tua's injury. Um, so he may get a big play here, but I don't think that there's enough big plays for them to overcome uh, what New England can do uh, with the run game and being able to, you know, score maybe 14 points, maybe like a 14, 10 type of ball game to me. Um, I don't see it in a lot of high score and nobody gets to 20. So I got New England here, man. Yeah, I like Miami for reasons other than, you know, just, you know, Tyler Huntley not being able to play. I think the urgency for him to solidify himself as a professional football, yeah. a professional quarterback, the urgency is there for him to make those throws. And um, I definitely want – I'm going with uh, Miami solely because they have the weapons. And, that, yeah. uh, uh, I, I mean, I can't, I can't lie to you. The first game, I definitely was on the Patriots bandwagon for probably a split second. I thought they, you know, <laughs> they showed poise, but then they they dropped the, too many. They dropped too many, and so um, yeah, yeah, man, I, I I I can't agree with you on the Huntley thing. I think he's gonna show up and show out because I've seen him do, do it before with the Ravens. It's all about schemes and and how well they able to protect him. I think he's trying to take to a spot. I think that's what he want to do. Uh, I, I mean, not that it's gonna happen because they already paid the guy. However, if he cannot play. Because of multiple concussions, they they have to be ready to, you know, just take that L and and move on with um, their next quarterback. They, remember, they went and got him early, right? They went yeah. and got him early before you know the news broke that he wasn't gonna be able to play. And so either they knew something was going on in their camp, or they just knew who they wanted. Plus, he's a Miami guy, so he's gonna fill his seats as well. So. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. Still not enough for me to not pick. No, yeah, I got you, bro. <laughs> I still got to put it out there, right? I still got to yeah, put it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, Man Down Sports, man. Salute, bro. Hope you're doing great out there, brother. Yeah, um, man, man Down Sports. Who else we got? Quan. What's up, Quan? No, one of King my, Quan. One of my, that's one of your, that's one of your one of my dogs right there. Yeah. Okay, Big one Purple. So he's definitely a Ravens fan? Yeah. Are you object? Are you an objective Ravens fan, King Quan. I, I really want to, you know, you know, put that in the chat. Let me know if you're <laughs> a little bit more objective than G is, man. He, he be. I mean, y'all seen this last. Honestly, though, bro, like watching the game last week, right? Watching the game last. Oh week, man, I said the wrong you, thing. You, My bad. Hold on, hold on. Watching the, the game thing. last week. The wrong did, you, thing. Did, you, did, did you see a team that, like, if we play to our to way we we know we can play? Is, is there a team in the league right now that'll give us problems? No, not Detroit is going to be a problem. Yeah. I got them coming out the NFC. I got them coming out the NFC. You know, Barnett, Detroit they, looks nasty. They Detroit does. Yeah, they, nasty. they look gross. They look like they going to the chip. Uh, I, and I'm just gonna say that right now. It's still young. It's still early. You know, I don't, I normally don't make my picks until week eight. But you know, here we are. You know, your guy. This is y'all influence. This is y'all doing. <laughs> Uh, okay, King Quan, I am depends on the season. Still hurt by the salary we spent on Flacco. Boy, he is taking it back. Yeah, that, yes, was over, that, was, that was over a decade ago. Y'all played pay Flacco, man. All right. We're going to move on over to the next game. We got two more one o'clock. So we have Cleveland and the disruptive uh, massage taking us. Deshaun Watson is over there <laughs> and traveling to the hot shot. <laughs> Washington Commanders, man. Who you got, uh, Bruce? Uh, commanders, man. Commanders. Yeah, man. I, I think that's a no-brainer. Deshaun Watson is... Commanders, man. They're, they're <laughs> playing good football right now. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury's got um, Jaden Daniels playing extremely well. Uh, Terry McLaurin, uh, they look like they have a genuine connection. Um, yeah. Austin Eckler being out, that kind of hurts a little bit. But with the way the commanders are playing, I just don't believe in the Browns. I'm so disappointed in them because I yeah. thought they were going to be better than that uh, this year. Very true. Gee, who you got, brother? You know, oh, Never man. mind. I already clicked it. Listen, All right. it's the, this is a, kind of a tough one, right? Uh, only because 
I think if Miles Garrett can destroy the rookie, um, there's going to be a problem. But that offensive line that he has is, you know, as a quarterback, that's what you want to have. You want to have that type of offensive line that you can pick the defense apart. And so I think this matchup is going to come down to how well they were able to, they able to stop the pass rush. And if that line can hold up, they're going to dissect the Browns and they don't have like, they, 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 they in disarray down there with Deshaun the hand, Deshaun the hand. They had disarray down there, man. So I definitely, um, I definitely like uh the the commanders bar none like big. I think I think Shorty is showcasing the skills and there's not enough tape on him for these defensive coordinators to prepare for him right now. Yo, no, no, I agree. I, yeah. I agree, man. Uh Miles Garrett, like I said, he's still battling quite a few injuries. I believe he's battling a, a ankle injury, a knee injury, and an upper body injury. Mm -hmm. Um, that's why he wasn't able to disrupt this much last game. But I don't make excuses right. for players that suit up. If you suit no. up, the expectation is that you're gonna go out there and be who you are. But um, they do got Nick yeah. Chubb coming back. I'm curious to see, you know, how that runs. He's not game. gonna play yet, though. Definitely. He's just coming back off IR to practice. Or has it been confirmed that he's not going to come back? Because they need yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's not, he's not going to play yet. Well, okay, so the reports are, uh, by all accounts, Chubb is expected to be activated within that window, which is uh, 21 days, but later rather than sooner. So he's got to get himself okay. back well, up into yep, He's not playing. Game all speed. right, so, yeah, yeah watch him by a long shot, man. This this kid is right now, he's he's balling out of control. Yeah, 82% completion percentage. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious to see if that's going to – with standing in the high 70s i think you know browns have a decent enough defense mm -hmm. to try to disrupt them but i mean that, that kid's playing outstanding they, that offense is clicking um tom you know uh scary terry um the weapons that he got in brian robinson jr they, they're getting it done they're getting it done mm -hmm. and i think it's going to be a blowout early they're going to definitely put the ball in you know deshaun watson's hand to have to throw the ball and right now that's just not what you want to see if you're a cleveland brown fan um, is him just putting the game in his hands because obviously the line isn't protecting him at all enough to make a decision. He just he's not even making the decisions correctly when he's in those type of positions. So, yeah, man. I mean, without without a shot of a doubt, I got Washington on this one. Yeah, I think that's all an right. easy one. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Keith? Oh, I see Nino in here too. Y'all sabotage you know my Steelers. What did we do? Man, nobody, nobody sabotaged him, man. What, what you should be happy about, Nino, is that Justin Fields played one of the best games of his career. Uh, yeah. He just came up short. There's some things he can clean up, but he had a really good game. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. Um, mm, what up, Kyle? Um, Browns, Redskins defense ranked 25th. This is a get-right game for them. Nah, I just I, – I don't see it. But we'll, right. we'll see. They got a lot to get right over there, man. I mean, against a Redskins, I'm not, uh, no, excuse me, not Redskins, um, a commander's team that's just hot. That's just hot, man. Like when you're clicking at all centers like that, man, it's kind of tough to slow down a team that, that you haven't played with that type of quarterback. So, you know, Patrick, Patrick Queen stinks. Queen stinks. Oh, because he's not a Raven, <laughs> Sherry? Uh, not a Raven. Yeah, because he left the Ravens to go there. <laughs> all right, we're going to move on. Uh, we got the Indianapolis Colts. I'm not sure if Flack, I think um, they're trying to make uh, Anthony Richardson play, but he's going to travel out here to Jacksonville to play the $250 million Prince. Who we got, uh, Bruce? I mean, no, I think it's, I think it's on Gino this time. Yeah, Gino, it's G. Who you got? It's G. Sorry, what'd you say? We had <laughs> who was the <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Colts and <laughs> Jacks, man. Colts and the Jacks, man, in Jacksonville. Yeah. Oh, man, that's an ugly one right there, too. Um, if Flacco play, you know, I'm going Flacco. You know, they owe him for. I'm going to go Flacco if he play. Um, he should play. Uh, so, yeah, there it is. Colts. Okay. Anthony Richardson is considered day-to-day. -day. Running back Jonathan Taylor has a high ankle sprain and was unable to practice Wednesday. Oof. I think they're giving a little time off. They said it wasn't that bad. They said it was like a, a mild, yes. mild sprain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably just gave him a day off. Yeah, yeah, he didn't he didn't practice on Wednesday. So we'll yeah. see. Um so as much as I don't believe in him, I'm gonna go with the Jags here because at some point they gotta win. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. all I can kind of <laughs> at some point they have to win. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Jags here. Uh yeah, definitely, I mean, Bruce. I, I agree. If he gets protection, Joe is elite. Uh, you know, second second best postseason run of well, maybe not the second best anymore now since Mahomes, but 
one of the best postseason runs in NFL history when uh, Joe Flacco won a chip back in 2013. So, yeah, we, we know. We know Flacco is elite when he gets protection. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, right now it's pointing to signs that Anthony Richardson may play. Mm-hmm. Jacks, it's time for Jacksonville to get one, man. I, I just think it's just that's what I'm saying. Time. They, they can't they, keep they, losing forever. Um, real, losing. real quick, team. I appreciate right. everybody who's in the chat. Thank you all so much. If you haven't already, please make sure you go to the YouTube page, click that like and that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you turn on your notifications so you're notified whenever we drop new content on the channel. All right, let's get back to it. No, um, like I was saying, man, Jacksonville, they finally got to win one. You're 0-4. You're in disarray. You, you haven't fired your coach yet. I think this is one of them games where you're like, okay, let's do something. <laughs> let's do something, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, if I Anthony did. Richardson plays, I think that's going to be in favor of Jacksonville. If Joe Flacco plays, then I think it's going to be in favor of the Colts. I do agree with Gino there, but it, man, if – the signs are pointing towards Anthony Richardson, then I definitely got Jacksonville on that one. All right. We're going to move on over to the final 1 o'clock game. Buffalo, who just got tore down by the Ravens, travels Mm. to Houston to uh, to play against C.J. Stroud and the Texans. Bruce, And don't forget uh, uh, Steph Diggs. Stephon Diggs, yeah. Who you got, Bruce? Um... I'm going to go here with – this is a tough one. I like the Texans at home, though. Uh, I think that's just a good football team, man. I, I definitely – that's just a good football team. Now, missing Joe Mixon, I think he's going to hurt, but they didn't have Joe Mixon last year. They were able to win the division and win a playoff game. So um, I'm yeah. going to go with the Texans, although it's going to be close. Uh, you know Buffalo is going to be looking to get back in stride after they got absolutely beat down last week. So um, – yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the Texans here. All right, G. I'm going with the Bills. I'm going with Josh. Josh said some things. He locked in. Um, the Texans are really, really tough, but I don't think the Bills is going to lose two games in a row. I like that. I'm going to go with the Bills as well. Um, like I said, I think that was a wake-up game. I think they needed that loss, the 3-0 and type of conversation, you know, going in a – I know this, this, this game was uh, – yeah, it was in Baltimore. Um, going to yep. Baltimore and getting beat down that badly, that's a nice little wake-up call for you um, when you're on a nice three-game winning streak. Um, I think Houston has enough to make it. A, it's, I think it's definitely going to be one of the shootout games of the week. Definitely see both teams getting into the high 20s, maybe even 30s, um, similar to what we just saw in the Seattle um, Seattle Detroit Lions game uh, this mm-hmm. past Monday night. But I, I got the Bills, man. I think Josh Allen, you know, got that wake up call. Like, hey, he wasn't mm-hmm. able to be anywhere near himself. I think one of right. his worst game, I think his worst defeats of his career. Um, so I think that's definitely a little wake up for him. Um, he's never really been blown out like that. So I think he goes into Houston with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Um, and I, I think, you know, they have enough to beat Houston with that one. So I'm, I'm going to go with Buffalo on that one. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to go over to the 4 o'clock. The 1 o'clocks are now over. The Las Vegas and the the Devontae Adams-less Raiders Mm. (laughs) travels to Denver and Mr. 60-yard winning the football game, Bo Nix. Wasn't that crazy? Wasn't that crazy? 60 yards, bro. 60 passing yards and he won the game. (laughs) Uh, Anyway. 10 to 9, all right? I believe, Bruce, you went last time. Gee, who you got, brother? That's fine. Ah, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, man, I like that coaching staff with the Raiders, man. I think he's going to have those yeah. guys prepared. Um, even with, with the controversy, like listening to Devontae Adams in the press conference, he looked like he was going to cry. And so I think he has something to prove, even though they're trying to still trade him. I think if he is still there, uh, Raiders, the Raiders going to take that one. He's not expected to play, though. Oh, no, Devontae is not going to play. Yeah, he's not expecting he's not to play. Playing. If he's on the block, they're going to hold him out because the last thing yeah. you want is for him to get injured. And then it's like, he has a what are you going to do with him then? Hamstring. Right. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Well, he's there you have it. Broncos. <laughs> you want me to switch to Denver, Denver bro? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, I like well, to do these things it, a little. Broncos. I like to do the picks a little closer to the, the end of the week because yeah. of, you know, there's a lot of things that happen throughout the weekend, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, like, a Friday, you know, you know who's going to play. Who You pretty much know who's going to play and who's not going to play. Um, but, yeah, I'll go with the Broncos. And um, a snoozer. I'll call it a snoozer. Okay. Um, Bruce, who you got? 
I'm going to go Broncos as well. Max Crosby has a high ankle sprain, so we're not sure what he's going to be. And uh, he's probably, without Devontae Adams, the best player on that team. Um, yeah. Again, like G said, snoozer. Not much going on there. This is right there with freaking New England and Miami. Yeah. Another bad game. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Broncos. They are they are playing outstanding defense, and uh, Bo Nix is probably going to be able to do just enough to get that win. Not much, okay. but just enough. All right. Yeah. Huh. Another toilet it's game. Now. Yeah, it's, it's going to come out of turnovers. It's going to come mm-hmm. out of turnovers. It's going to look just I- like last week. <laughs> oh, Ten to nine or some shit like that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Vegas. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go with Vegas. I I, I don't know. What does Vegas say? Huh? What does uh, Vegas, Vegas say? Vegas say you're going with Vegas. Oh, oh, I get it. I, okay, the, the Las Vegas. Oh, you mean you're gonna go with the Vegas <laughs> line? I got you. My bad. My bad. I got no, you. No, no, no. Uh, I was I'm like, gonna go with Vegas the, saying about it. Okay. <laughs> under two. I'm gonna go with the Raiders, man. Um, mm-hmm. Broncos under two and a half. It's it's, mm. it's it's just I'm gonna just go with the Raiders. I really got no reason why. Um, That's cool. Bo Nix is just not. I haven't seen much from him. I don't know what Vegas is gonna do. Defenses are gonna. I, I don't know. I'm. I got the Raiders. I'm just go with the Raiders, mm. bro. <laughs> I got really no reason I'm gonna pick it. I think that's just more of a gut call that I'm making. That I think they may sneak this one out of there with a with a win. All right. Uh, we're going to move on over. The Arizona Cardinals, Kyler Murray, travels to San Fran to visit the 49ers. Mm. Who we got, G? Niners. That was a, that was an easy choice right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's an easy one right there. Bruce, who you got? Niners. Brock Purdy's balling, man. Like, I don't Brock understand Purdy's why balling. people still don't believe in this kid. He is balling, though. No, absolutely. Uh, I think this is a no-brainer. San Fran, I mean, all the reasons mm-hmm. point to reasons why he has all his weapons. Yeah, defense. Yeah. You know, Nick Bosa. Them boys wake up, woke up. Mm-hmm. You got the best linebacker in the league. I mean, yeah. What more do you need? What more do you need, man? Wait, you wait, 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 wait. Let me back you up. Let me back. They have an outstanding linebacker. They don't have the best linebacker in the league. That guy wears okay. black and purple. Okay, so they got the best linebacker in the league, and Fred Warner. Uh, like they I got said, the li- they got the best linebacker in the NFC. I'll give you that. Okay, they got the best linebacker in the league. I don't know. I think my mic is broken. Hold on. I think your mic is broken because I, I can't possibly be hearing you correctly. Okay, they got the best middle linebacker in the league. Uh, oh, they Fred definitely don't have that. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> let me finish my conversation, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. All right. They have the best <laughs> middle linebacker in the league. So you say. Fred Warner, all right? Uh-huh. So I uh-huh. say uh, with Nick Bosa back there, uh, you know, you got your secondary back. They're healthy enough to get these games won. I think they could just disrupt Kyler Murray and put him in a position to where he's going to cause about two or three turnovers. And Brock Purdy is good. Brock Purdy is good. I think the world needs to wake up. All right. It's it's enough. All right. He he was the last pick of two years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, he's done three, enough. Three years ago. Three, three years ago. Okay. Three yeah. years ago. He's done enough to Absolutely. make his make his play respectable. Um, mm-hmm. We've seen him without Debo. Still right. look good. We've seen him with yeah. a. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, who just wasn't ready to come back, still mm-hmm. looked good. Mm-hmm. Jawan Jennings, who was actually the fourth receiver on that roster, still looked good. The, the kid looks good. All right. We just need to go ahead and chalk it up. He is the best. TJ Watt, uh, defensive end, buddy. Fred Nobody's Warner sleeping on TJ Watt. If, yeah. I don't, I don't, TJ I don't Watt's not a middle linebacker. TJ Watt's a weird linebacker, rush end hybrid. So, like, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't but think he has his really hands in the dirt. Fred, Fred doesn't put his hands in the dirt. TJ puts his hands in the dirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you put yeah, your hands in the dirt, I, I, I don't consider on. you a full blown linebacker. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I could see you're you're a Russian hybrid, but yeah, I, I give you defensive end. Yep. yep. But uh, but yeah, that, that's an easy pick for us. So we're gonna go on and over to the next one. Uh oh, time out. Let me switch hats. <clears throat> oh, here we go. All right. <sighs> My bad. You know, I got to get right from the boys, right? Green Bay and Jordan Love travels to Los Angeles to play the Rams. G, who you got, brother? I got the Rams. What? Disrespectful. Bruce, who you got, bro? I, I got the no pack, why. and I got the pack because you guys have a, a very good secondary, and you got an elite. What's my man named that? That's getting all these interceptions. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, McKinney. Um, thank you. And uh, uh, I was about to say Sam Darnold, but no, um, 
Giant He's the quarterback of the Rams. I forget his name. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Stafford. Thank you, Matt Stafford. He'll throw you one or two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I fully I fully believe that um, the Packers will be able to get a couple turnovers in this game, and turnovers yeah. with evenly matched teams are going to be the difference. And um, I don't believe that the Packers are going to allow themselves to get into a big hole like they did last week. And so, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to go with the Packers, man. I think they're going to run the ball, too. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, All right, Gene, I, I, like I didn't mean to be I like disrespectful. Why you got the Rams, bro? Sure. So, yeah, I'm, right. I'm Damn, you, every you, week, it's just, it's, it never changes. All right, so so I like the Rams because I think Jordan Love isn't ready to, to, to fully come back. I think you guys rushed them back. Mm -hmm. We saw that last week. I think they did so, rush them back, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree with and that. So, I agree. Depending on what Jordan Love, I like the Rams. I like the coaching. I think um, they, they is, you know, he's going to out X and O. I think that's what it comes down to. Uh, I, I think you got two really good offensive scheme guys. I don't I don't know if one is out X or one of the others. Um, yeah, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Saying. Yeah, they all came from the but, same tree. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. but you know, let me let me just say this though. I, I am picking the Packers, but um, Kyron the Siren, go Irish. You know what it is. <laughs> I, I don't even think we got one Irish guy on our team, so I can't even. <laughs> I don't I think you do. I can't even persuade you to you know, you come the other way with that one. But, <laughs> well, listen, I mean, I picked the Packers, though. I do think no, they'll win did. this game. You did. You did. You did. And I, I applaud you for that, Bruce. But, you know, Gino just wants to be disrespectful. Um, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I got Green Bay for obvious reasons. Why? It's the home team. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a ride with them. I agree with what G said. We definitely did rush Jordan Love back. Um, but, like, the rush back for that one, he just was rusty. I think a lot of that game was rust. As you saw, a lot of his throws were very, very low. Um, Wicks had to go make a lot of incredible catches with the ball, mm -hmm. literally inches from the ground. I think, you know, he has a, a full week of practice. He was able to have a nice comeback in that last game, and Green Bay has now woken back up. Um, the Rams' offensive line, like I said, there's, or what lack of their offensive line, I think our pass rush could definitely get there. We're definitely one of the better defenses uh, for getting after a quarterback and causing them to throw interceptions. And I think that that's going to that's going to be one of the major keys in this game. So I definitely got a uh, Green Bay going out there and uh, taking one from the Rams, especially if Jair comes back and he plays this game. He wasn't able to play mm -hmm. last game, and I think that would have been a huge difference maker in last week's game. But uh, I think you know with Jair coming back, I think that's a mm -hmm. definite. Shut that because yeah. I mean, I, he doesn't have a solid receiver to throw to like that. And if Jair takes mm -hmm. away that, then you know, you got problems. But go you ahead, got G. banged up quarterback, and you got a banged up wide receiver. I will say, okay. I'm a little disappointed though with um, the Packers haven't done enough in my estimation to pound the ball with Josh Jacobs. Man, like I know yeah. you're paying, I know you're paying all this money to uh, Jordan Love, but run the football, man, make it easy yeah. on him. Yeah, but, again. You know, I think they, uh, you, you got to go back and look at the tape. Mm -hmm. I mean, when when Malik Willis was in the game, you guys ran the football effectively. We were one of the True. top three run teams True. in the league, winning games, mm -hmm. winning games. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a winning formula. You know, you didn't want Jordan Love, Jordan Love coming back and throwing the ball 55 times, 54 right. times. Come on, man. Well, that, they, that I mean, they had to, though. They had to because of the way they fell into that hole. But I, I totally yeah. get what you're saying. But yeah, I think if we come out and we set the tone early with our with, with running the football, and I mm -hmm. think this is going to open up better things for Jordan Love. Um, he, he's not going to be as, as rusty as he was last week. So I, mm -hmm. I definitely got Green Bay. All right. No Moving doubt. on over to the last four o'clock game. We got the New York Giants. Mm -hmm. Daniel Jones traveling to the Seattle Seahawks and Geno Smith. Who we got, Bruce? Oh, the Seahawks, man. Seahawks. They're coming off a tough loss, but now they're at home. They're going to have that, quote, unquote, uh, 12th man behind them. Very tough place to play. Um, uh, obviously, you know, you're going cross country. And also, uh, Giants look like they got injury concerns. Uh, they didn't have uh, Devin Singletary in practice today. Mm -hmm. Malik Neighbors, concussion. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Phillips got a calf injury. That's one of their cornerbacks. Cornerback Adderie Jackson injured. So not really sure who's going to be able to show up for these guys on, on Sunday. And... Uh, um, I don't. I doubt the Giants are going to be able to effectively stop the run against uh, Kenneth Walker the third over there in Seattle, and Geno Smith is right now one of the best quarterbacks in football. So, I think the Giants are in for a world of trouble here. All right, G, what you got? Yeah, that's an easy one, Seahawks. Yeah, I think it's very, very easy. No neighbors, no way. 
<laughs> I mean, you don't even have. Oh, a that's weapon. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no right. neighbors, no way. Yeah. You don't. You don't have a weapon. You don't have a running game. You can't score with Seattle. I just don't think you have enough. Period. I mean, yeah, we haven't. That's... We haven't seen Daniel Jones even with talent be great. Without talent, could, could be worse. <laughs> and so, I'm not even going to stress that one any longer. We all got Seattle. We're going to move on over to the final game right. of that night. Yes, uh, Dallas. Who man, Dallas travels to Pittsburgh. This is easy, but go ahead. My bad. Go ahead, G. G who you got, bro? Cowboys. My... Cowboys. Yeah. Why you Cowboys? Yeah. This one. This is one, okay. one, of, this is one of those picks where I'm not allowed to root for the Steelers, regardless. Got it. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> got it. Again, one of them, one of them AFC North things. Got it. Jesus. That's all I needed to hear, brother. But okay, with the more logical pick, Bruce, who you got, man? Oh no, nah, def- definitely going Steelers here. Um, yeah. Not rooting for them, just <laughs> rationally assessing what we see here. And hey, look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you don't have your two rush ends, Demarcus yep. Lawrence and Michael Parsons. Both of those yep. guys are out. Now Dak is missing another weapon. Brandon Cooks is out. Um, and obviously we know Dallas can't run the football, so that's a wrap, right? And yeah. we're, we're going to watch. I mean, they're going against one of the best defenses in the league. They're going to get after Dallas. They are going to get after Dallas. They're going to, yeah. what is it, release the hounds on them dudes? So um, I think that uh, uh, Justin Fields, I think he may be in position to have another really good game, and I think that uh, I think Dallas is in big trouble here. I, I think they are going to get beaten by – Seven to ten points. I guess that's not big trouble, but they're they're going to lose by seven to ten. They're going to lose handily. I mean, it could be it could be big points, and then all of a sudden, Dak Prescott does what Dak Prescott mm. does, you know, and that's mm. make a taste, you know, make right. it closer to make it look like, oh man, I did my part mm. in the fourth quarter, <laughs> you know, to make it respectable. Whoa. But um, I got I got I got the Steelers. Um, oh, okay, okay Miss Sherry, all right, upset. Okay, Miss Sherry, we'll see. I, I would like that if Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, right? Like, not in the yeah. game, man. When you don't have a defensive line, mm-hmm. you, you, you're str- they're already struggling on the offensive side of the ball when right. they can't run the fo- football, right? What are you when you don't even have anybody that can stop the other opposing team? You know exactly. what I mean? Micah Parsons is supposed to be your Lawrence Taylor uh, of this generation. Hasn't really done anything this year. You got Demarcus Lawrence, who's also your other fiercest, your fierce defensive end. On the other mm-hmm. side, when you don't have that, that spells big trouble for a guy like Justin Fields who can scramble out of the pocket and go get you yards with his legs. So I think that that spells trouble, especially when you're in Pittsburgh. Um, they have a uh, good enough pass rush. T.J. Watt, one of the best in the league um, at, at his position and what he does. He could disrupt Dak, Dak Prescott to throw an interception or two. And uh, I think if uh, Justin Fields continues playing clean football like he's mm-hmm. been doing all season long, that's enough to go ahead and put Dallas away um, in that football game. So, And, and uh, so the way I see it, this is one of those games where, you know, both of them could lose. Is there any way for that to happen? No, it's not. So It's, a, I, it's I, called I, a tie. Both, eh, that's not a tie. That's, everybody wins. <laughs> everybody going to win. But, you know. But it hurts uh, you in the standings, though. Yeah. It does still hurts you in the standings. That's fine. I can give. I can give a. I can give a game away to Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I can give him a game, bro. It's it's fine. <laughs> Michael Parsons is worried. Worries more about the podcast. He hey, speaking of that podcast, that man is bringing in rival players on his podcast during the season. I don't. I don't look, man. What, 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 are we, what are we doing? What are we doing, bro? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> But but when but when the season's over, you're gonna be looking for a max contract. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on, Whoop. man. Like the competitive nature in these kids today, it's oh, it's long gone, bro. I've, long I've been gone. telling you that. I, I'm been not you gonna that. have my my biggest rival in football. The receipt, no, uh, Darius Slay. My bad. Uh, the cornerback. Mm-hmm. Get on my freaking podcast. Mm-hmm. And right now, one, we're playing like shit. My team right. is playing like shit. All right, I'm what not talking being about Green I... Bay. Oh, you're talking who? about Dallas. Dallas, yeah. yeah. I say we two and two just like y'all. What you talking about? Um, but you know, we're playing like crap, and I haven't de- I haven't lived up to all the hype that's been been surrounding me, and yet I'm bringing on my rival to discuss football during the season when we yeah. haven't even played each other yet. Nah, yeah. bro, no way. 
I'm not doing that. Right. Like that, that's, that's a business a, move. That's, that's a pocket. business move. Just like do that. I, I, I wouldn't even say doing. Like, don't even do it at all while y'all rivals. But at least postseason. Like after mm-hmm. the season's over, okay, you got a little bit more grace. We're not playing each other. We're not strapping it up. Like, bro, I'm looking to see you in about a week or two. I gotta come. I gotta come see your team. Like, yeah, I just. It's just. It's. It's weird to me, bro. But all right. Last game of the uh, of week five, we have the Monday night game. New Orleans travels to the undefeated Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl champ back to back years at eight fifteen p.m. Who you got, G? Uh, Chiefs. Uh, no, I look at the twelfth man. Okay. That twelfth man is is it, it's um he's undefeated. All right, dressed. He looked like a zebra. But um, mm. nah, Pat Patrick Mahomes, man, he's 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 something else, man. That kid is he's probably the greatest quarterback in the league right now, and so um, he's constantly getting it done, getting it done week in week out. Even without a number one receiver, um, I think um, we're gonna see him make a way. Like it's gonna be an ugly win, um, and so it hurts me to say this, but yeah, Casey. Okay, Bruce, why the face? What face? I don't know. It looked like he was making a face, bro. Nah, That's I'm typically the oh, I got some shit to get off my chest type of face nah. that you was making. <laughs> no face. I got Bruce, Kansas who you got there, bro? Kansas City. Oh, Kansas City? Man. Yeah, man. In Spags, we trust, man. That that defense, that's the difference. Kansas, people are looking and saying, oh, Mahomes doesn't look the same. Oh, the Chiefs offense isn't as good. It doesn't have to be because of the way they're defending now. Yeah. And that to me is the difference. And that um G knows this as if you have a great defense, you can go very far in this league. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely um, I'm, I'm all about Kansas City in this one. Yeah. Kansas um, City home too, right? Yeah, Kansas City at home. Again? Kansas City yeah, at home. home. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'll go with Kansas City, I mean, for obvious reasons. I mean, you haven't shown me reasons why to not pick Kansas City. I do think New Orleans is a little bit more hungry. Um, I think this could definitely be a Saints win if they – but they they, they got to lock in. I'm talking like from not from a offensive defensive standpoint, but from a mentality standpoint. Like you can't be making bonehead penalties or giving reasons to get right. the refs involved in the fourth quarter um, for you to end up losing that football game. So I think that you know at that point you're you're playing you're talking about experience um, in that fourth quarter to make it. If it's if it's you know a close football game, do you guys have the experience to either put Kansas City away or to come back and get them? You know what I mean? But it's Kansas City. It's Patrick Mahomes. Even without a number one receiver, I think Travis Kelsey is going to emerge with a, a with a great game this game. Um, he's definitely going to get unleashed, and you know, them boys are just going to, you know, Andy Reid is going to find a way to get somebody to football. That's just it's really Andy Reid, bro. It's, it's Andy Reid. It's really Andy Reid. He's been doing that shit for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Andy Reid's going to find a way coached, to get somebody to football. Yeah, he he coached a variety of quarterbacks, and so you know, he just so happened got you know. Somebody in Patrick Mahomes that's kind of like all of the above. He can make the throws. He can run around. He can run people open or scramble until people get open. So. Yeah, true, true, true. All right, that's it, man. The picks wait, are wait, wait, in. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What did you just say, G? Patrick Mahomes could do what? Say that again. He can. You didn't hear me the first time? I didn't. Okay, I'll I, I repeat again. myself. He Appreciate can scramble it. and uh-huh. get his wide receivers open. Okay, okay. I got you, you got Travis Kelsey, right? Travis yeah. Kelsey, yeah. big playmaker, right? He yes. he can he can make plays with his feet to get his guys open. They they have a it's really all. good game plan. It's coaching, bro. It, it boils down to coaching. You can have the best players on on the field, but if you if your coach is getting out coach, that's going to equal a win for them. Andy Reid don't play no games, man. He don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. Okay, okay. I, I wanted to make sure that I heard you properly, um, mm-hmm. because I if I remember correctly, though, but... Transformer. If I remember Uh-oh. correctly, Uh-oh. didn't G say that Patrick Mahomes is not a mobile quarterback? Remember we had that mm. argument a while back? I believe so. I, I believe so. so. All right, just, no, just choosing violence. He choosing violence, with me. violence was... today. I'm just saying. I'm just, it's, it's real Seven and you know you I'm just saying how you get I'm just saying how you oh, oh, how we don't that. have any we'll black quarterbacks or any black saying. mobile quarterbacks in our mm-hmm. top five. What, what we all have Patrick is, Mahomes in our top five. Correct. What I will say is what I will say is it's not like he's rushing for a hundred yards a game. No, he's not doing that. He's not that type uh, of mm-hmm. quarterback. He's not elite in mm-hmm. that sense, right? But he can okay. he has an offensive line 
He can mm-hmm. scramble and get open. He's a, mm-hmm. a mobile quarterback. Okay, with, with, Which is with exactly it in terms of like, that's not his previously. strength. I, right? He's a mobile, not a running quarterback. There's a difference. I, he's okay, not running he's quarterback us. draws. He's not running I, quarterback draws. You don't I see that. I said he's a mobile quarterback. That's exactly what I said, and you and said, said he wasn't. He's not a running quarterback. But don't don't make me go back. And, all right, when you gonna make me go back and, and, and cut that's a clip off that show? You know that. Oh, that's what he meant. That, he, he he asked him clarification. Uh-huh. That's what he and meant. I just gave him clarification, uh-huh. man. <laughs> Moving them goalposts, boy. You good, man? You good? You Listen, good? He's not a Lamar. Hey. He's not a Lamar Jackson. No, he's not. He's not Nobody, even a. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, that's 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 my definition of a running quarterback. How can that be your definition of a mobile quarterback when he's the only? I said that's my definition. Of a running quarterback. That's what I just said. If nobody else can achieve that, how can that be the definition of it? I'm just trying to understand. I'm just telling you my definition of a running quarterback. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Josh Allen is more of a running quarterback than Patrick Mahomes. He runs the football better. He puts himself in harm's way more. Okay. But All right. you know, he's a ferocious runner. Now we have it. Now we have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm I'm just glad we were able listen, to man, it can't, it can't <laughs> tough, man. Holmes is a listen, mobile quarterback. You, just, you have to be I'm, listen, he got paid half a billion dollars, bro. I'm glad that we were able to clarify. The league this. definitely hey. want to cash in on this, man. Like you're not going nah, we're not doing that today. We're not doing it today, man. We not doing that today, bro. I'm just, listen, man. I'm I'm glad that we were able to clarify. Listen, man, if you weren't for that twelfth man, they wouldn't be where they at right now. Twelfth uh, man being the crowd, right? Yeah. Or or woman, yeah, that that crowd that crowd is crazy in Kansas. In there, it is. Taylor Swift. I, I agree. Yeah. Oh, you oh, know what? Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift isn't there anymore. Oh mm-hmm. man, they in trouble. Let me change my pick. <laughs> what they did? They break up? Yeah, they broke up. So you know they they gonna take this L. So oh, wait, wait, mean, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. That means Travis Kelsey about to go hold on, hold on, hold on. So wait, they broke up for real? They broke up for real? Yeah, they broke up. So interesting. He he was calling me a Swifty, but he out here following Taylor Swift pop news. Ain't that ill how that works? Damn, you making shit up as you hey, go he along. Broke, he broke that. Oh, I'm making stuff up now. Hey, huh? man, you know they we broke up, to, right? Like, oh, man, I we didn't know. We need to cut it. You, you need to cut it, man. You need to cut <laughs> it. You know so. You, listen, listen, he got Taylor Swift on the, in his playlist, bro. Like, we're not the on, same. Really? We're not the same, bro. He ain't singing Taylor Swift songs. Really? Podcast, bro, like, I wouldn't never. I don't even know once. Yo. Mm-hmm. Let go. Mm-hmm. All right, transformer. Uh, so that was it, see, right? Saints at Chiefs, right? But yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. We're we're wrapped up with week five. Yeah. So I guess I guess G's the real Swifty here because he got he got inside news yeah. on. He got inside he scoop on Taylor listen, Swift, right? Listen, I just I, I only I don't even know if that's true. That could be cat. Yeah, <laughs> I, I said, that, that could be cat. Been, that would have been I, broken I in, how, the internet. I, Listen, I can see how it got him like riled up, and she's like, "Damn, I'm about to sing all her songs now." Like, baby, come back. <laughs> he remixes Taylor Swift songs. Yeah, you're a wild dude, man. You need some help. I digress, man. But that's okay. Oh man! But the it's chat, okay. man, that was the wrap up for Week Five. All right, tell us which is going to be your biggest game. What do you think is going to be the game of the week, or what do you think is going to be the upset of the week? I'm curious to hear you guys' takes. Other than yes, that, we yes, are wrapped yeah. up with week five. Bruce, you got it, brother. You want to open up the phone lines, anybody? Yes, sir. I'm putting it in the chat right now, 904-219-8264, and you also see the number scrolling on the bottom of the screen. So give us a call. Tell us, uh, you know, anything that um you maybe disagreed with in our picks or, uh you know, uh, something you think is going to be a major storyline this Weekend. All right. Sherry Golden, she got Dallas upstairs. upsetting the Steelers. I like that. She thinks Can't Dallas see it. Going and win. Don't believe in Dak Prescott. Can't see it. Steary, get stay off my get out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. She listening. More than any root for the Ravens. Crazy <laughs> How am I rooting for the Steelers? Hey, listen, I made a rational, will, listen, a rational uh, pick. On your right <laughs> shoulder, you might will you might will take the Ravens off, man. Like, because if you would have rooted for another team, you would root for Cincinnati this week. I'd, um, never mind. I'm, I ain't even gonna say. It. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out. Pick is rooting for somebody. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. I think his Wi-Fi went bad. No, I didn't. Say it again, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I'm, I'm trying to figure out how uh, making picks is rooting for somebody. I didn't, I didn't think that was the same thing. Yeah, I mean, down yeah, here. Nah, man, he made, he I made mean, it seem like you're uh, an old fan out here. Right, listen, sir, right? up here in Baltimore, we, we, don't, we don't get the – there's no picks, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's 
if you're in the area, you you already understand and you feel you know that like these guys come in and play their heart <laughs> out every game, bro. Like so so that means yeah, it's crazy work, man. So what you're saying is that means that you have to you have to pick the Ravens every single game. No, I just think you're too far away from the flagpole. That's man. irrational. <laughs> 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 you too far away from the flagpole, uh, man. You got nothing to do with it, man. Energy, man. Got nothing that's, to do with it. That's why you seven and sixteen. <laughs> hey, man, it happens. It happens. I bet you it ain't gonna be that this week, though. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. A little wager talk, huh? Mm-hmm. A little wager talk. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't doing that. All right. Um, looks like we're not gonna get any calls on this. I was hoping to get some uh, feedback from somebody. Uh, in the chat regarding these picks, but thirsty enough, Hi. gotta say hydrate. What's the what's the Ain't army slogan? Hydrate, beat the hydrate. heat, drill song, beat the heat. There you go. <laughs> Drink water. Gino beat the that. heat, drill song, beat the heat. <laughs> You know about that. That tickles me, that? bro. That that tickles the hell out of me. That's funny. Hey, man. Like you it. know, it's uh, hey, man, they, they this is what it your, was, man. Anything to get your water, bro. Get your water in, bro. Hey, that's it, man. <laughs> All right. But I, uh, 